Access to efficient financial services is crucial for economic development and it is a crucial tool for tackling poverty. Inclusive banking is about banking services that everyone can access. That means services for the unbanked, those without bank accounts. The Reverend Dr Henry Duncan pioneered inclusive banking in Scotland in 1810. Back then, people needed £10 to open a bank account. Dr Duncan wanted banking to be accessible to the poor. He asked for sixpence. Within five years, banks across Europe imitated Dr Duncan's model. There are all kinds of reasons for being excluded from banking, such as a past bankruptcy, being new to a country, or lacking steady employment. Banking networks are often entirely absent in rural parts of the developing world. Without them, it is harder to weather financial storms or grow savings. And small businesses worldwide need access to funds to start up or grow. Africa led the world in tackling exclusion with mobile banking. In the West, millennials use their mobiles for Facebook or Venmo payments. But those services don't provide inclusive banking. New mobile-first banking services aim to be inclusive for the modern customer, giving them freedom and autonomy in how they live their lives. It's why initiatives like Brazil's Super Digital tackle exclusion with digital innovation and why Santander X drives inclusive growth by investing in education and mobility. Everyone needs access to banking services in the way that works for them. It's a problem that Dr Duncan would have understood.